yeah I know what you guys are going to be asking and I know let me explain so there are two different reasons why I bought the game number one one of my friends were eventually going to complain about the fact that I wasn't there to play the game with them considering how they were going to act because I know them very well and I know they're gonna complain and I don't want to hear it number two as I played into the game I realized that the skill based matchmaking is also kind of balanced depending on the game mode you play um, I'm currently playing um, I'm currently playing between kill confirmed and domination I haven't touched hardpoint because I know how drastic that is like like I said it depends on the game mode you play it seems with kill confirmed and domination it seems like it's more balanced so it's alright uh, but as far as the game modes hardpoint and S&D is debatable I, I don't know the exact the exact problem with them um i gotta look into the game mode as i play them but yeah so far uh kill confirmed is all right the problem is is like the less points but that's just personally me um on the other hand domination is also all right it's all right um as long as you know how to play the mode correctly and it just seems like you're just not going to be like winning games because the chances of winning games in domination is super low at least to a 30 percent percentile for me i don't know for um other people because i guarantee that guarantee there's almost at least a few people that just stick with one gun and just well at least one op gun i know and just stick to it and they'll just literally like win games every time or at least like go 50 50 or 65 to 40 i would probably say like 65 to 35 percent on the winning or losing ratio depending on the scenario uh because you never know but on the other hand uh it's all right it's all right i wouldn't say it's good i wouldn't say it's bad but it's all right so I wanted to also go back on a few parts of the rant that I mentioned. The reason I wanted to go back on that is because I know there were some comments I made and one of them was bringing up skill based matchmaking and how it ruined the game. Now as far as anything it's, it's, it's meh, it's not too bad, it has its perks and it has its standards but other than that it's not too bad it's not too bad of um of skill based matchmaking it's not like black ops 4 or shit not even close to modern warfare where that's the case it depends on what mode you play like i said because even in tdm like you have like these type of players who were willing to try and they just ruined tdm for the whole thing like i've been trying to say this from the dead beginning i wasn't wrong about that like literally they ruined uh tdm for almost the entire time and it's just it's just stupid it's just dead ass stupid so I, I again i'm not going to complain about that what i am going to complain about is the fact that recently the new league play came out and they changed the rules around for the fucking gun changes and gun restrictions knowing for a fact knowing for a fact that and i'm just saying this for the benefit of the doubt knowing for a fact that you literally knew that people were going to complain about that now i get you trying to change the ropes for this year that's fair but go back a bit do you realize what you've done right there's a good reason why the hell people never wanted the league play to change League play was already all right in some of the other games that they've played. The difference being, if you change the restrictions of guns and allow all the guns to be in the game, or sorry, in league play in general, then you are literally just setting. First of all, you're setting up, you're setting up yourself for failure because. That's just a definition of just another regular pup 
and it's just not worth it. Because why the hell would you literally add almost every single gun in the game knowing the fact that people are going to complain about the fact that you need to add gun restrictions for a reason, and yet you still think that, oh yeah, that's a good idea. Like, come on. Like, granted, I should have known they were going to change something very weird for this game. I had a dead-ass feeling. But the second I realized they changed the restrictions for guns and realized that almost every fucking gun is literally added into league play, you know the consequences. There's a good reason why restrictions are in league play. You shouldn't change yet. Like, what? If you think the guns are balanced, then you're a fucking idiot. Like, come on now. Like, you, you, again, you're the developer of the game. You should know the issues with the guns, and most importantly, how OP the guns are. Like, come on. That's such a bad way to literally think that, oh, yeah, let's also add in the guns, guns that are super broken, and most importantly, OP to the game itself. How the fuck does that make any sense? Really? You know what? <sighs> Whatever, man. Whatever, dog. <laughs> just know, like, League Play is just not even worth playing at this point. It depends on if you are willing to play it and deal with it, or you're just actually that type of person to actually be combative for the team itself, and most importantly, the game itself. Also, let's be serious here. Um, the game itself is not too bad. Um, like I said. It's just, like I said, the few problems were the kill confirmed um, point list is just too low in my opinion. And the league play restrictions to allow every single gun in the game is just stupid. It's dead ass stupid. There's a good reason why they're not. And you even add in the shotguns, knowing the consequences of that. Like, come on, Dre.